And we're back in the game with some more Medieval 2, Total War, and the Stainless Steel 6.4 mod. Playing as um, the Flower of Western Nobility, France. Right, France was supposed to have the best knights in Western Europe, or the best cavalry in Western Europe. Those English longbowmen taught them a lesson. Of course, it was the Welsh longbowmen who taught the English longbowmen a lesson. He had fired the longbow now in part one because this is part two. We got a vast amount of alliances, didn't we? Uh, assuming that these alliances hold, we've got our southern flank held by Castile and Aragon, not Aragorn. Uh, our flank over here held by Genoa. Eastern flank held by the uh, HRE, Holy Roman Empire which was famously neither Holy Roman or an Empire. Or some famous person said that, and it has become a famous quote. And up here we have the Danes, who are also our allies. So basically, all of Europe uh, is allied to us. All of Europe that we border, that is. Uh, so we're going after Bruges. Our faction leader actually died, didn't we, in episode one? And we're only six turns in. In fact, I think I commented that uh, family members actually live quite a long time in this mod, and then he goes and dies, and I think he's like 57. So we're going to start this episode with this battle at Bruges. Now, the rebels in Bruges have already defeated one full stack of Scots and one full uh, stack of English. So we're going to go up after them. They've suffered a lot of casualties. They have the list of towers. But they're heavily damaged, so they may not fire. But then again, they may fire. A safe stronghold, our guard is still. A trusty shield and weapon, so says Martin Luther. But not the king. That would be the original Martin Luther. Alright, let's go and get deployed. We brought artillery. We specifically recruited artillery for this purpose. Now those trebuchets will bring down that wall ever so quickly when I'm anticipating that they will. And the uh, catapult should bring down the gate. So start firing on the gate, start firing on the wall. Ooh, fire on that section because it's already 68% down. Right. It's not showing damage, but on the um, in episode one, at the end of episode one, it was shown that they had 79% damage. Maybe it was you know, ballista towers on another section because we're attacking from the south, and I think the Scots attacks from the north. Yeah, I can't see any of them damaged though. All of their forces pretty much are in the central town. We are through the enemy's wall. Yep, we are through. Okay, only 8% there. Do we put in another breach? Because we're going to have to pay for it, but it's not a big deal. Let's go and do another breach. Twenty-four percent there. Still only eight percent at the gate. You must be very inaccurate. Only six percent. Fifteen. All right, they've actually brought up their mailed knights. Okay, we do have five, five crossbow units. Let's bring them up. Like so. Slow that back down to normal speed. Group them up. All of those are spearmen, I think. Deploy, deploy. No, I want you to deploy. Like so. You only use half, not even half the ammunition. Right, that's only 23. Just fire over there, get the wall down. 
Right. They do not have very good range, do they? That's a bit odd. I thought they would have had better range than that. They're actually getting fired at from list towers. Some of them. Move up there. So, those are light infantry men at arms. I thought they were heavy infantry. Well, I guess not. Can you fire from there? Tell me you can. Oh, seriously? You still cannot reach them. What is the range on these ballista um, catapults? Like you're firing, but do not. It's those are crossbow militia. You're peasant crossbows. Excellent. We have breached our enemy's wall. Right, I swear you should be able to hit them. Those Flemish pikemen will not have much armour. I suppose we can knock down the towers. And just fire into this uh, gap right here. Or fire at those ones who are now coming in to join them. Maybe they're concerned about that breach. Right, let's send men at arms over there. Might distract them. I think we have a clearer target over here. Where is their leader? I think he's right there in those mailed knights. Let's have a look at the close up of their units. Flemish pikemen, very dangerous. But no armour. Very dangerous to cavalry and infantry. Well, I think we've got a good kill there. Nice splash of blood. Yep, there are blood effects in Medieval 2 built in. You never had to pay for them. How many have we killed? 3%. That's pathetic, isn't it? Right. Get on in there. Get in. Right. Let's see how dangerous they are. Let's see if we can go on their flank first as well. Very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Oh, yeah. I'm going to see if I can squeeze some through that gap there. Well, I'm trying to squeeze through. I want to keep those busy. Try to squeeze you through there. Go on, bypass them. Blow your horn to rally. You're walking. I told you to run. We have captured the enemy's wall. Okay, you say so. Those are actually broken already. And you know, if we send a unit up onto the walls, we should get the uh, towers to fire in our defence. Right. So let's do that. We are taking a lot of damage. Right, come along there. Run. 
Let's get some of our cavalry coming through here as well. You really haven't used that much of your ammunition, have you? I'm going to bring them closer. They've been firing for a very long time. They just don't seem to have actually killed anyone. I mean, is that tower? Yeah, it's no longer in their hands. Alright, we're starting to get some kills. And we're starting to wrap them. Get through there, cavalry. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Right. Let's bring you in inside. Would like to get you up on there. Right, go up over there. Right, we'll send you through here so we can get you to the town centre. We'll send the other one through. Have them come here. I was hoping to get them around though. Right, I'm actually fighting somebody. Yeah, kind of. We want you firing on them. Right. Might be causing friendly fire there. The battle is very much in our favour. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. You're confused. Don't be confused. Oh yeah, we lost a lot of our men there, didn't we? Right. Come into the town centre. Oh, you start firing. The enemy is badly blotted. Sit here. Our men are in command of the city. Right. Who did you run into? No, riding unit. That's fine. A little bit killed off quickly in any case. They're all routing, aren't they? Now we could send in the spearmen as well. general up because I don't want to lose him to those Flemish pikemen. Did we get you up on here? So those Flemish pikemen are holding out the longest. Right, it's going to cost us about three, maybe four units of light infantry, light men at arms. That's not too bad. Rouge will be quite profitable because it will get port, docklands, and the wharf. Right, I think they're gone. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will yeah, smash. And that's it. everyone. Well, that cost us a quarter of our army. Right. I don't see anyone else. Who's still out there? Oh, seriously? There's a unit right in the town centre. 
but the time is still going. This is an act heroic, yeah. which only belongs to men of All right, one fifth. and valor. That's uh, well worth it, I think. That's the Knights Hospital there, I think. No, Templars. We are triumphant. Yay! Now, let's see. We have triumphed. are very happy, but we could get a decent amount of money. Right, let's see if anyone's going to attack us. Probably the Scots. Get that one cleared. It goes four and two. I think we will get that. Score is at ten percent at the moment. Right. Still zero corruption, which is very nice. Now the Scots are either going to send a diplomat, and the English are going to send a diplomat, or somebody's going to attack us. Not they both pulled their troops back. That English diplomat is still there. Yep. Now they have two diplomats. No alliance. I bring word from England. Good for you. Good to see we could reach I don't think we need map info, but let's see, it's going to be demanding, let's see if we can get it now. Oh no, we're not going to pay that. We're not going to pay it. Yeah, it's 2200 already. That's going to be a nice little earner. As we used to say back in the UK, back in the day. I'm on to a nice little earner here. Yeah? Gouge. Right. Uh, an adoption. You're being adopted. Count yourself lucky. Mm, ooh, we've got the Merchant Guild. Good. Francis of Sisi has died. Okay. Well, go ahead and pause and read this. Because it's very interesting. Magic crossbows. Oh, I love magic crossbows. Especially against the Mongols, they are highly effective. Well, they are in uh, the vanilla net too. Right, Papal Inquisition has begun. Oh no. Oh no. Right, we've got an extra 2000. Okay. Get that up. Now, where did he show up? Was it in Rhymes? It was. Or Rhymes. Some people say Rhymes, some people say Rhymes. Right. I think we've talked to Norway already. Come towards Poland. We've got a chap down here. We need to talk to Portugal. Yes, they do exist. See, this is the county of Portugal. We're going to talk to Sicily. And do we need to get another alliance? I'll give you a hundred. And that's being generous. I am afraid I must I'll give you 110. And that's being generous. If I offered them the rights, I could probably get it for free. We cannot quite accept it. Hmm. 120. And then I'll offer you an alliance. I am afraid I must Yeah, they're just going to play around. No, uh, give me some money. It seems we have reached this conclusion. Okay, we do need to talk to Venice. We oui, at once. Tomorrow's journey planned out for you. Right. Dijon, we're going to try and get the guild there. So where did we just get it? The, the merchant guild in Bruges, was it? Ah oh, yes, because we can get Merchant Cavalry now. So, let's get you there. Mm 
Uh, yes, yeah, so I was going to move you I think 30 there. You can get 63 up there. So we're going to move you around a bit. Uh, we did have a merchant, but he got beat up and robbed, unfortunately. You really want to get your merchants out of your own territory. However, there's 147 available over there, which is very tempting. And I did say I was going to build some watchtowers, didn't I? So a chance of getting in 75% there. Alright, well then. So we'll take the one from Reigns. The one we just adopted. And get some more watchtowers, I guess. Go there and build a watchtower. Only 200. It's not bad. We've got the Stonemasons Guild there. I actually used to play uh, darts and pool for a pop team called the Stonemasons. Here's a bit of channel trivia. There will be no questions asked. Right. Let's see if I've missed any construction anywhere. Doesn't look like it. Anyone who needs an upgrade, mostly armour, shall have it. Armour upgrade, armour cheap, 60. That's 16 and a half thousand. Okay, well, we, we got a Theologian's Guild, didn't we? Where was that? There. So, a bit of priest there. Right. God's servant, God's servant. Today's journey ends. How good are these? He's rank 4, he's a bishop. Yep, we're going to have a boatload of money. There's yet another spy. So we need to talk to Portugal in Iberia. Yes, that is where Portugal is located. Uh, we need to talk to Venice. And then we need to talk to Poland. The one who goes to Poland will then go to Novgorod and Kiev. And the Teutonic Order in Lithuania. The one who's going to Portugal will then go into North Africa. He has a long way to travel before he can talk to anyone new though. Uh, the one from going to Venice will then go into the Balkans. Where we talk to Hungary. We're going to start building a navy as well. We need to. Blockade port yet again. Right, it's just weird. We had that weird mission. And, um, it's a one. Oui, mon roi. Très bien, Seigneur. Oui, at once. Right, there's Portugal. Would you would discuss with me? We act another suggestion from your leader for us? I see no problem. Oui, at once. Tomorrow's journey, an honor. Is there something I can do for you, nobleman? We ask you have further proposals? Very well, we are. I guess... He's very good, rank 7 already. This concludes our meeting. Très bien, Seigneur. Tomorrow's journey... Oui, mon roi. Okay, there's no way. We want Poland. Oui, at once. Master. On my way. Alright, who's that? Danish? There's the rebels. That's Polish territory in here, though. I think. Okay, there's a war.
Where is this ally? Okay, so... I'm going to send you to build another tower down here. You've nowhere allied. Right, I want to rank them up. Where's the best place to do that? 54%. 54. Okay, he didn't rank up. Oh, got killed. That's 72% chance. However, he ranked up. We'll just get a, another new one. Soon we'll be able to get assassins there as well. To remember, the merchants are at Bruges. Now, if you get the navy there, Paris has not. Nobody. Right, 32, I'll get you to 63. Do they have troops? Mm, no. That's worth 47. They're still moving. We can put you there temporarily. Shouldn't there be some wine out here? There's some wine. It's not worth that much. Not yet. He's ranked five. So we have a chapel over here. You can always get a lot of those. We'll get you to grow. It's going to be the priority there. Now, uh, maybe put in a watchtower there. If not, definitely one over here. You can see that's still in rebel hands. But that's all that we're going to be doing for today. Or for this episode, so we capture Bruges. I think I want to build up a secondary army somewhere along here. So if we do get attacked, we can react to it. I think it's going to be the Batman faction. And the reason I call them the Batman faction is because of this. And from a distance, that looks like Batman's symbol. Uh, the old original one in the 1930s. From a distance it does. For me it doesn't look like the Batman faction. So I think they're going to be the ones who backstab us first, if at all. Um, meanwhile, we'll build up another army with a navy. Go and invade England. We can take out London in a first strike. Uh, that will severely weaken them. London and then, was it Nottingham? Somewhere around there, isn't it? And that's me up there. Although this map isn't exactly accurate, but that's where I would be, kind of up there, or where I was born. <laughs>